Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to design the beam by finding out its depth and width of the beam. So I will explain this lecture with the help of an example, so it will be more easy to understand. So according to the ECI code, American Concrete Institute 31814, we can find the minimum depth and width of the beam when the length of the beam is known to us. So here is so here is a simply supported beam we see here and the length of the beam is 8 meter. So what is the depth? What is the depth of the beam and what is the width of this beam when the length of the beam is known to us? So how we can find the minimum depth and width requirement for a simply supported beam? So according to the ACI code, it states that the minimum depth, how we can find the minimum depth? Minimum depth is equal to the length divided by 16. This is only for the simply supported beam. Like we see here, our beam is simply supported beam. This formula is valid only for the simply supported beam where there are two supports here, hinge support and roller support. Then we can use this formula to find out the minimum depth requirement. So here the length of the beam is 8 meter. So we'll put here 8. 8 is the length divided by 16. We got here. 0.5 meter because the length was in meter if you convert this into millimeter so we will multiply this with the thousand so we will get our depth requirement in millimeter so it comes out to be 500 millimeter so the minimum depth should be equal to the 500 millimeter and what is the width of the beam requirement so the width of the beam or we can see the minimum width of the beam so width will be equal to the d divided by 1.5 now the depth d is here is depth the depth of the beam is known to us the minimum depth is 500 so we'll put here 500 millimeter divided by 1.5 so we'll get our depth or width of the beam in millimeter so by dividing this value we got here 333 millimeter so this is the minimum width of this beam so 333 millimeter so now we find out the minimum width of the beam and minimum depth of the beam if we know the length of the beam so this formula is only used for the simply supported beam you should keep in mind this formula is only valid for the simply supported beam if you another type of the beam for example cantilever type of the beam or continuous beam or overhanging beam then this formula is not valid anymore you have to look into the codes and to find out the other formula for simply supported beam, you can design the depth and width of the beam by taking these values. So you should minimum take the depth of the beam equal to 500 meter and width of the beam 333 millimeter when the length of the beam is 8 meter. So hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.